Matthew chapter 6. When you're practicing your piety, be careful that you don't do it with an eye on the audience. Otherwise, you won't have any reward with your Father in heaven. So when you give money to the poor, don't sound a trumpet in front of you. That's what people do when they're just play acting in the synagogues and in the streets. They do it so that people will be impressed by them. But I'm telling you the truth. They've received their reward in full. When you give money, don't let your left hand have any idea what your right hand is up to. That way your giving will be in secret, and your father who sees in secret will repay you. And when you pray, don't be like the play actors. They love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners so that people will notice them. But I'm telling you the truth. They have received their reward in full. No, when you pray, go into your own room, shut the door, and pray to your father who is there with you in secret. And your father who sees in secret will repay you. And when you pray, don't pile up a jumbled heap of words. That's what Gentiles do. They think that the more they say, the more likely they are to be heard. So don't be like them. You see, your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. So this is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. May your will be done as in heaven, so on earth. Give us today the bread we need now and forgive us the things we owe, as we too have forgiven what was owed to us. Don't bring us into the great trial, but rescue us from evil. Yes, if you forgive people the wrong they have done, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you don't forgive people, neither will your heavenly Father forgive you what you have done wrong. When you fast, don't be gloomy like the play actors. They make their faces quite unrecognizable so that everyone will see that they're fasting. But I'm telling you the truth, they have received the reward in full. When you fast, tidy your hair and beard the way you normally do and wash your face so that others won't notice that you're fasting except your father privately. Then your father, who sees in private, will repay you. Don't store up treasures on earth. Moths and rust will eat it away and robbers will break in and steal it. No, store up for yourselves treasure in heaven. Moths and rust don't eat it away there, and no robbers break in and steal it. Show me your treasure, and I will show you where your heart is. The eye is a lamp of the body, so if your eye is honest and clear, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is evil, your whole body is in dark. So if the light within you turns out to be darkness, darkness doesn't become any darker than that. Nobody can serve two masters they will either love one and hate the other, or they'll be devoted to the first and despise the second. You can't serve both God and wealth. So let me tell you, don't worry about your life, what to eat, what to drink. Don't worry about your body, what to wear. There's more to life than food, and there's more to the body than a suit of clothes. Have a good look at the birds in the sky. They don't plant seeds, they don't bring in the harvest, they don't store things in barns, and your Father in heaven feeds them. Think about how much more important you are from them. Can your worrying accomplish anything? Can it add 15 inches to your height? And why worry about what to wear? Take a tip from the lilies in the countryside. They don't work, they don't weave. But let me tell you, not even Solomon in all of his finery was dressed as well as one of these. So if God gives that sort of clothing even to the grass in the field, which is here today and on the bonfire tomorrow, isn't he far more likely to clothe you too? Your faith is so little. So don't worry away with your what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear. Those are all the kinds of things the Gentiles worry about. And your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. Instead, make your top priority God's kingdom and his way of life. And all of these things will be given to you as well. So don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow can worry about itself. One day's trouble at a time is quite enough. This is the word of the Lord.